perfect day to film my winter essentials because we're having our first little snow of the year and it's not sticking, but it's just coming down and looking really pretty. And I'm filming this video with Kendra from Vlog with Kendra. And if you watch me, you probably watch her. She and I have very similar taste when it comes to makeup. We do a mix of conventional and natural products and Kendra has introduced me to two of my favorite things. The first is the brand Andalou Naturals and the second is Vitacost, which is one of my favorite websites to order from. And Kendra has my favorite hair. She used to have really long mermaid hair that I loved and she's recently cut it off into a lob and somehow it looks even better and I'm not sure how she pulled that off but I am so excited to watch her winter essentials. So I will have it linked on the screen as well as in the description box. As for myself, I have a kind of a mix of stuff. I have some clothing accessories as well as some old favorites and some brand new purchases, beauty purchases that I made especially for winter. And I think I'm gonna change things up and start with the clothing things. I've been really into basics, dark denim and solid colored sweaters. So I've needed my scarves to add either a little bit of color or a little bit of pattern and I have three, three that I'm gonna show you. This first one is probably my favorite. This one is from Madewell and I love the Buffalo check. It also has a little bit of fringe to it. This looks so good with dark skinny jeans, a black sweater, and then this on top. And my favorite thing about it, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to, it has armholes and this is probably not gonna come across in this little screen, but I did wear this in an Instagram picture, so I will link that below, but it just makes it really convenient to wear, and this thing is incredibly warm. This blanket scarf, which I got from ASOS, I believe, is my most worn, and I think that's because these colors go with pretty much anything. Anything I feel like wearing, this one is huge. It's definitely the biggest out of the three, so it's really easy to wrap this around. I kind of wear this like a shawl, just put it around my shoulders and kind of <laughs> have it be a little bit of a cape. And then for work, this is my favorite. This one is from Loft and it has a little bit of cat hair on it, lovely. But this one is really pretty. It's a little bit smaller than the ASOS one, but this one is still incredibly warm. I don't know about you, but at my desk, I've been getting so cold lately. So this is another one I can either wrap it around my neck or wrap it around my shoulders to add a little bit of warmth. My other favorite cold weather accessory are booties. And these are both the same one, just in different colors. And that is me. If I find something that I think is flattering and comfortable, I usually buy it in multiple colors. These, if I remember correctly, are called the Steve Madden hipster booties. And what I like so much about them is that I have shorter legs and the look of booties where you roll up your jeans and have boots that cut you off at your ankle, they can make my legs look even shorter. But these ones, I don't know if you can see, have a tiny, no, you're not gonna be able to see. Let me show you this, the taupe color. Yeah. These dip down just a little bit. I don't know if it's just a trick of the eye, but I think they make my legs look a little bit longer and you can see whatever cute socks I'm wearing. And I love to wear a pair of cute socks. And like I mentioned, these are really comfortable. So honestly, I've just been wearing these every single day and just kind of swapping them out, whichever color goes better with my outfit that day. The second thing I try to do in the winter is banish dull skin. And if you want a very in-depth video, I have one called Winter Skin SOS. And in that video, I talk about all the issues I have with my skin during the colder months and the products I use to combat it. And those products are all still favorites. So I will link that video. But today I wanted to focus a little bit more on like a cozy spa night in, and I'm a homebody anyways, but when it gets cold outside, I spend even more time at home. And I do have a spa night routine, so I won't go through everything, but I wanted to show you just a couple new things I've been using to pamper my skin and make sure it's keeping a lot of moisture. You guys know that one of my all time favorite facial masks is the mermaid one from Leilani Skincare and I also really like their Honey Love, the three-in-one. And at the beginning of the year, Leilani Skincare did a complete rebranding with new packaging. And when they launched the new look and the new website, they launched so many new products. And I wanted to talk about everything, but I've narrowed it down to the two facial masks. This is the one I used for the first time last night. And when I talk about this brand, I never know if I'm saying things right. Melly Glow is what it looks like to me. And it's called the Illuminating Nectar Mask. Oh my word, okay, I used this. My skin was clean and damp and I took a big dollop of this and just really spent time massaging it into my skin. And then I let it sit for about 15 minutes. It smelled amazing. And then I removed it with a damp cloth and my skin both looked and felt so good and soft. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, ingredients that are supposed to help stimulate the glow. So I'm so excited to continue using that. And then the thing I wanna use next this is called Coco Lika Ritual Dessert Facial Mask. And if that doesn't sound amazing, and look how cute the packaging is. This one is in powdered form and you're supposed to add a couple drops of water to it. You know, take a little bit out. Leah sent me both of these, which I was so grateful for, but I wanted to buy something so I could help contribute to the relaunch and hoping that it was gonna be really successful for her. 
So I went onto the new website and they had these handmade pottery bowls. And I believe that Leah herself paints the L onto each one. So what I'm planning on doing is taking a little bit of the powder out into here and then dropping a few drops of water. And when you buy the bowl, you also get this facial mask brush, which is synthetic. So it's gonna be perfect for applying the mask all across my face. I'm so excited for Leah. I'm also excited for my face to be extra glowy with all these new products. So if you haven't seen Leilani Skincare new website, I will definitely have that linked down below. When I put that mask on last night, I also wanted to take care of the skin on my body. So I took a bath and I used a bath bomb. I've actually been cheating on Lush lately. I'm not sure, not for any real reason. I just haven't been out to Tyson's lately to buy new ones. So I've been getting these ones from Whole Foods. The brand is Hugo Naturals. I've never heard anything about it. I like these pink ones, which are the rose and sandalwood. And they also have purple ones, which are lavender and they come individually wrapped. They're just in the beauty section. So I've been liking those. And then when I was at Target yesterday, I saw this brand called Me Bath. It says fun scoops for your bath. Maybe these are going out because they were clearance for $1.98, but these were gotta have it pomegranate mini bath ice creams. And they came in this little package. So I don't know what it is. I like bubble bath, but there's something extra special to me about bath bombs. It just feels a little bit more like an experience. I love the part of winter that's like, it's cold and gross outside. Stay in your home, be cozy, have spa nights, but it makes it really hard to get out of a warm bed in the morning. So I've had to do a couple things to help energize my morning routine. This first thing I am so in love with. It is an essential oil blend from the brand doTERRA called Citrus Bliss. And it has a ton of different citrus ingredients like wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin. But right at the end, there's this hint of vanilla that makes it warm and lovely. And I burn candles constantly and Jared never comments about them, but every time I diffuse this, he says something about it. And even a couple times he's asked me to diffuse this in his office, but I do think it's invigorating. So I love to diffuse this first thing in the morning. I just think it feels like it gets me up and moving. And then over the holidays, I definitely indulge in some heavier food. So I've wanted a lighter breakfast and something that's gonna give me a lot of energy through the morning. So I've gone back to having my smoothies and there's a few that I go back and forth between my favorite being the Joyous Health Detox Smoothie. And whenever I have them, I think I've mentioned this before, I drink them out of these Mason Jar, Mason Bar Company tumblers. The other week I dropped and shattered one, which I was really bummed about, but I went onto their website to order a new one. And when I was on their website, I saw something and this is the complete opposite of, a, of an essential. It is a non-essential, but it's so cute. So I thought I would mention it. They started selling these cabled cup cozies. It's like a sweater for your mason jar. And I just thought they were too cute. So I ordered both the gray one and the cream one. So definitely a non-essential, but a favorite nonetheless. The last thing I wanted to talk about today is winterizing your beauty routine. And for the most part, I embrace the pale. I was actually so excited that Too Faced launched some new colors in their Born This Way foundation, a couple lighter shades and a couple darker shades. So on either side of the spectrum. And right now I'm wearing Snow, which is such a better color match. I think I was trying to make porcelain work for me before. So Snow is beautiful, but this is more of a medium to full coverage foundation. And when I wear that much coverage, it can start to make my face look a little bit flat. So just adding a hint of bronzer really goes a long way. And I have tried a lot, but I always go back to the Too Faced. I use the Milk Chocolate Soleil, but I think they have three shades of this. So no matter what your skin tone, but this is a gorgeous matte bronzer. It blends out so nicely. I'm wearing just a little bit of it today as a little bit of warmth to my face and a little bit of dimension. In the same vein of adding some dimension, I love a good highlighter this time of year. And I just bought a brand new one, which you guys probably aren't gonna be surprised about. This is Becca's Pearl, and this is amazing if you have really pale skin. It is intense. It's a lot more intense than my normal Charlotte Tilbury one, but I love it. And so I've been wearing on it's on, been wearing it on its own some days, but I've also been mixing it in with Champagne Pop. And Champagne Pop is a little bit dark for me this time of year, but mixed in with Pearl, it is incredible. So I'm wearing both of these on my cheeks today. For lips, I have two Bite products, and Bite recently did a shade expansion in their matte cream lip crayon line. I bought them all. They're all beautiful. I think I'm going to do a lip swatch video. My two favorite are probably my favorite because they're the most seasonally appropriate. The other ones are a little bit brighter and more suited to a spring and summer. But the first, what I'm wearing right now is called Pastille. Oh my goodness. This is the most gorgeous rose mauve. It's very similar to NARS Anna and just been, this has been my perfect, like everyday going to work shade. It's also, I'm just going to wear a big cozy sweater on the weekend. I think this color goes beautifully. And then the other one is the most gorgeous red, and this is called Red Velvet. And every time I see it, it just screams a Valentine's Day to me. And what I like so much about this formula is you can get the matte lip look if that's what you're going for, but it's not drying. It actually adds a little bit of moisture to the lips. 
Last but not least, I have two nail polish recommendations and my nails aren't looking that great. I have nothing on and then I swatched this one to see if it went with this dress, but this is from the Sephora brand Formula X and this is a Jessica from Don't Call Me Jessie or Gem or Jerica inspired purchase and it is in the shade Hera or Hera. I haven't been wearing a lot of shimmer or glitters lately, but this one called me and I think this is gonna be what I wear next. And then something I've been wearing a ton lately is from the Nails Inc. Gel Effect line and this is called Kensington High Street. This is the perfect vampy berry shade. The formula is excellent. I just have had the best luck with Nails Inc. as a brand as a whole, and this nail polish is no exception. That is all for my winter essentials, and make sure to leave some of yours down below. We've had it really mild so far, but I think winter is coming, and we may be getting our first snow with accumulation this coming weekend. And don't forget to check out Kendra's video. I'm excited to watch that myself. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it, and I'll be back with a new video very soon.